Two and a half years ago, Eric and I decided that we needed a bigger house. We had one baby. We knew we were gonna have more children, so we began trolling neighborhoods. After months of looking, they noticed a house that had been conditionally sold was suddenly back on the market. It had been empty for five years. There was mildew, and not a single piece of this house was move-in ready. I saw past all of the mess, and I loved it. We bought the cheapest, most broke-down house in one of the absolute best neighborhoods. Before moving in, Eric rolled up his sleeves and got to work painting every wall and refinishing every floor. There was so much work that went into making the home just barely livable. Every time we did something, I fell more in love with this house. We are close enough where Eric can bike to work every day. We have a backyard where the kids can play with the dog. It's perfect for us. Two years have passed, and with much of the cosmetic work done and another child rounding out the family, Kelly and Eric have become completely divided over their family's future in this house. This house has been a great investment. In a little more than two years, we've significantly increased our equity in the home. For Eric, it is an investment. For me, this is my home. I love the idea of selling it, capturing those profits, and having a little bit of extra cash laying around. But then what? We're in another house for two years, and oh, it's appreciated, and we have to move again? No. Forget about the financial investment. We've invested ourselves in this house. I'm not ready to walk away from that. The kitchen is horrendous. It's where we cook, where we eat, but it's also the worst space. We have all this space in our dining room and our living room, but when you go to a party, everybody hangs out in the kitchen, in the family room, and the rooms are so small and so boxy and separated, and there's just no space to cook and entertain and, and do the things that we love to do. Yes, it can be a little crowded, but the space is there. It has potential. We can do it. Redesign the kitchen and family room, renovate the master bath, New laundry room, open staircase, man cave uh -huh. in the basement, and a playroom on the porch. Ah, uh, what have you got? All right, must has to go. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, large master baths, open concept, play space for kids, man cave, laundry room, biking distance to downtown. Ha! Ah. Oh, wow. this is lovely. They don't want a screen porch. This is an incredibly unfinished space that you have to fix and incorporate into the house. Come and look at the garden. It's more like a private parkland. This is I you trying that. to make yourself feel better. Admit it. No, nope, I have nothing to admit. More space. You know, you can keep calling it space, I but do it's call it money. Space. Why do you keep worrying about that man's money? It's going to be all about money. Ha! Huh. Oh my, what's this? <laughs> oh, You're gonna fix this, right? All right, I'm going in here now. If it's not on the list, it should be on the list. They really do need a laundry space. You're so repetitive. Come on. The house is gorgeous. When I think about the list that you've given me, I'm incredibly confident I can really pull it off. I need to know how much money I have to spend. $95,000. It's a lot of money, but that's a really long list that you've given me too. Hmm. Excuse me? What you just witnessed was the backpedal shuffle. That's what Hillary does <laughs> at every meeting. I call it honesty. That house does have a lot of potential. I mean, you bought it for, what, 325000 mm -hmm. It is now worth 525000 Yeah. But I don't care. You don't care that you got 200000 just put in your pocket? No, I'm staying Thanks. in this house. So what is the budget for the new house? $440,000. <laughs> Something's going to have to give to get you a house for $440,000. The idea here is to have a smaller budget for the purchase so that we can put some money away in savings or maybe even buy our next house in cash. I think I can actually make both of you happy. And when I am done, you are going to love it. Getting Eric to invest his heart in this house will take a massive effort from Hillary's hardworking team. Not wasting any time, hammers swing on the wall between the kitchen and the den, opening up the area for the much-needed sight lines in the family's overused central space. In the master bath, the dated blue tiles finally become a thing of the past, creating the space for Hillary's updated and undoubtedly more serene bathroom oasis. And while the dust flies at home, Eric and Kelly are a few neighborhoods away where David is anxious to show them his first find. It's not in our neighborhood. You didn't say it had to be in your neighborhood. What you guys said was that it had to be biking distance to his work. And it is. But our neighborhood is where I want to be. Then you should have put that on the list. At 2,300 square feet, this ranch bungalow may be the same size as their current home, but offers three bedrooms, 
two bathrooms, including a large master bath, a good-sized kitchen, a central family room, a dedicated laundry room, a roomy man cave, and a large yard with a pool. And while it might need a little work, David is certain this house has the space Kelly will appreciate at a price point Eric will love. Come on in. Your living room. This is a nice living room. It looks exactly like what we have at home. So you flow from your living room into the dining room. Whoa, no, no, no. This isn't a dining room. This is Venice. I kind of like this. Could this dining room work for you? Only if I get a trip back to Venice. Yes, <sighs> get a trip to Venice. <laughs> The laundry room. Look at how amazing this is. All I'm seeing is more work. This is way better than what we have. Ugh. Let's keep going. <gasps> Two, man cave. Oh, that's cool. You've got the laundry between you. And I'm way over here by myself. That's a bonus for both of you. Here you have the ensuite. What is this place? This <laughs> is incredible. What are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like a spa. <laughs> you want a soaker yeah. tub? Yeah. That is a soaker tub. Wow. Like if you think longer term with this house as like an investment, yes. there's an enormous amount of space here. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'll just see hot tub. Backyard. From the bathroom? Yep. Okay. From the hot tub to the pool. Yeah, that's a little weird. Big backyard fenced in, which is exactly what you wanted. This is awesome, Kelly. Nothing to complain about here, if you ask yeah. me. What do you think this house is listed at? 400. 375. This house is listed at three and a quarter, which is 115,000 less than the top end of your budget. You put that 115 back into this house, you'll still be in fantastic shape with money in your mm. pocket. Every room in this house has something else to fix. We've got two young kids. We don't have time for this. While David points his sights back toward their neighborhood, Kelly and Eric head home to see if Hillary's changes are hitting the mark. This is going to be so much better than a bunch of drawings. Oh, wow. Wow. Isn't this just amazing? Suddenly yeah. it's a big room. That's going to make a big difference. A huge difference. Her team is hard at work. The existing laundry space and powder room are stripped out and plumbers waste no time cutting and installing the new supply lines and waste pipes that will allow Hillary to swap locations of these two functions. Meanwhile in the kitchen, the one stark eating area is being brightened immeasurably by ripping out and replacing the tiny windows with much bigger ones. While the hardworking electricians drill holes in the framing to run the power they need to a series of new pot lights. Not far away, David thinks he's found the home that can coax Kelly to move. 15 minutes to your work by bike. It's actually a very pretty house. At 2,100 square feet, this house might be smaller than theirs, but it's absolutely move-in ready and features four bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus a gorgeous master bath, a wide-open kitchen and family room combination, and a one-of-a-kind man cave, all on a gorgeous forested lot right around the corner from their neighborhood. Oh, wow. Wow. Look how grand this is. Beautiful, Yeah, right? I didn't expect this from the no. outside. Okay. This is the master bedroom. Oh, whoa. I don't think our bedroom is this big. But we have a very large master bedroom. Come on. Okay. An incredible bathroom. This is Look really at nice. this tub. Now that's the hot tub that you want. This is a great bathroom. <laughs> how you like them apples? David, I hate you. What's next? <gasps> Something sweet. Mm. All right. Very sweet. Look at this. Whoa. Your family room, kitchen combination that gives you that open concept that you're looking for. It's beautiful. This is starting to sound really expensive, David. The backyard. Wow. Wow. You love it, don't you? Come on. It's gorgeous. What do you think this house is listed at? 650. 675. This house is listed at 550,000. Whoa. That's what it's going to cost you. Which is why we should not leave our house. I think this house checks all of our boxes. Yes, it does. Except the financial one. Well, then we're moving on, unfortunately. As Hillary formulates her fundraising strategy, her team is hard at work in the kitchen, meticulously installing the new cabinetry that will more than double the storage space. Custom-cut quartz countertops are carefully installed on top, further ensuring that any complaints about a lack of prep space are a thing of the past. Finally, a truckload of new oak strip flooring is being delivered, glued, and nailed down. It'll be finished to exactly match the original oak strip flooring that Eric so carefully refinished elsewhere in the home. And while things are moving forward on the home front, 
David is hoping to get similar traction as the three of them head out on a relentless search of the local area. No way. I think it could be a good investment. I don't it, like it. It would be it's a very good investment. Not, it didn't no. need that much work. Look at this, full four-piece washroom. It does need some TLC, but it did need a little work still. David believes he's found the home that even Kelly can't deny makes perfect sense. I think it sets you both up in terms of what you both want. This looks great. This two-story, 3,000-square-foot home is almost 700 feet larger than their current house and features four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. The party-ready main floor includes a modern kitchen and separate living, family, and dining rooms, while upstairs is a spacious playroom for the kids and a man cave for the biggest kid of them all. With so much going for it, perhaps the only question is, what does this all cost? Come on in. Here you have your formal living room, dining room combination. It is nice, but it's not very open. But I think it works. So you flow from the dining room into the eat-in kitchen. This is lovely, but it's not open concept. This seems more than fine. We just came from the family room area where your kids could hang out to the playroom wow. that your kids could have. It's fantastic. It is a great space. Then, you could make this the man cave and that the play area, or, or you could make this the play area and that the man cave. Two man caves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. This is the area and this is the guitar area. But you have to admit, this is pretty incredible so far. Yes, yes, yes. This is awesome. What do you think this house is listed at? 400. What do you think? 480. This house is listed at 400,000. 40,000 below the top end of your budget. That's not a price where we could buy this house in cash. That turns my crank. With such a tempting offer on the plate, the two of them head home, where at long last they get to tour their own house now that Hillary's extensive renovations are finally complete. Go on. <laughs> You have that ridiculous so-called powder room. Yeah. Here you've got a great washer dryer. You have everything anybody could possibly want. Wow. This is like such a better use of the space it than what was here. Wow. You remember this was where your laundry room was? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You can't say. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Moving on. This is the new oh, entry wow. into your bedroom. The reason for reconfiguring your master bedroom is right behind this door. Oh, no way. <laughs> All right. What do you think? This is a lot bigger than our old bathroom. Awesome. I can't believe this is our house. Yeah. So should we see what's in the door opposite? Lead the way. Here we go. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. And you don't necessarily need Huge space, you just need to design it well. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Ta-da! Come on in. Wow. You like? This is pretty fantastic. There we go. Your complaint with sight lines, you have it. Look at all the counters. You've got these amazing quartz countertops. Great serving place for a buffet, and when your children get older, this is where they'll do homework. Yeah. We took that wall down. That's how we had space to sink the fridge in here and all of this storage. Wow. So this now is seamlessly integrated with the rest of your house. Yeah. But before you make your decision, I have one more listen to show you. And it's yours. That is the current value of your home with the renovation that has been done. Wow. The pre-renovation value of their home was $525,000. With an expanded renovation budget of $103,000, the new estimated value of their home is $655,000. That increases the value of their home by $130,000. Okay, so, decision made? Decision made. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Well... We're gonna love it. <laughs> the investment, money in the pocket. But she loves it so much. And at the end of the day, I'd rather just make her happy. And the value in this house isn't going anywhere. You see, the perfect blend of emotion and just the cold hard facts.